get ready for a quick quest guide for the Tree Gnome Village quest, in which the main rewards for completing are the ability to use Spirit Tree Transportation, 11,450 attack experience, a Gnome Amulet of Protection, and two quest points. There are no skill or quest requirements, and item-wise you'll just need six normal logs, or alternatively an axe to chop them. 45 combat is recommended, but not essential, and I also highly recommend food, armor, and weapons to defeat a level 112 boss who can be safe spotted. I also recommend weight reducing armor if you have access to it, as well as one stamina potion. You could also bring along a super energy to be safe, but I didn't end up needing it. Now you can begin this quest in the middle of the Tree Gnome Village, which admittedly is a bit of a punish to get to. I'll have a map showing the way through the maze from the northwestern corner. After you eventually make your way to the middle, then you'll be able to start the quest by talking to King Bolren. After a bit of chatter ask, can I help at all? And then after space barring through the rest of the dialogue, select yes to officially begin the quest. After the chatter, you'll be brought back outside the maze. And note that you'll now be able to right click Elkoi and select follow to go back to the middle, preventing you from doing that super long journey in the future. Now run a little northeast and look for Commander Montai, who is dressed up like a strawberry. After some space barring through the chat, say, okay, I'll gather some wood. Now cut down six logs, or if you already have them, then just talk to Commander Montai again, handing them the logs. The dialogue will finish and you'll need to once again chat with the commander, who will ask you to get the coordinates from the three tracker gnomes. Say, I'll try my best. Now run north across the bridge and then go west, searching for a gnome with an orange top called Gnome Tracker 3. Talk to him and you'll realize he is totally loopy, but go through the dialogue slowly because his message after you question what is important. There are four options to what he can tell you, with each correlating to a different coordinate number which I'll have on screen. See what he says and take note of the correlating number. After this run north and then a little east behind a large building and chat to the gnome tracker 1 who will tell you the height coordinate. Then run east and head into the most northeastern building where you'll find gnome tracker 2 locked up. Chat to the gnome and they will tell you the Y coordinate. Now run south back across the bridge and then head to the southwestern corner of the battlefront where you'll find a ballista. Right click on it and select fire before inputting the cryptic coordinate that the loopy tracker gnome 3 told you about. You will then fire the ballista and cause a huge explosion. Now make sure that your hit points is high and then run a little ways north to the main enemy building and climb over the crumbled wall. You'll be attacked by a Khazard commander. Immediately run west and go through the door before going up the ladder. Again, ignore the attacker and run a little bit north, opening and searching the chest to get the Orb of Protection. Once you have it, then run back and go down the ladder, and then head out the door to your south before going all the way back to the northwestern corner of the Tree Gnome Village Maze where you'll find Elkoi. Right click on Elkoi and select follow to go back to the middle of the maze, before then running back to King Bolron and chatting to him. After he tells you of the horror attack, say, I will find the warlord and bring back the orbs, before you are then guided back out of the maze by Elkoi. Now you'll need to run north back across the bridge and then keep running north until you reach the West Ardoon wall. Once you hit it, run west and hug the wall, following it around and further north until you find a level 112 Khazard Warlord. This is who you'll need to first talk to and then defeat, and know that he will attack you as soon as the dialogue is over. Now you can straight up fight him, but in order to safe spot him, you'll essentially have to attack him while standing out of his range by running south. When the Warlord can no longer reach you, he will then start pathing backwards. And when this happens and he goes too far away, then go in his range again, which will see him come towards you. Then when he comes close, but before he reaches you, go back out of his range to make him path backwards again. It's a little bit of a punish and a bit finicky, but eventually you'll defeat him and he'll drop two orbs of protection that you'll want to pick up. Once you have the orbs, then run all the way back to Elkoi and eventually follow him to wind up at the middle of the 
the maze. Then head back to King Bolren and chat to him. And after a cute moment where the tree lives its best life, bam, quest complete. You'll be awarded the ability to use Spirit Tree Transportation, which is rather helpful, as well as 11,450 attack experience, a gnome amulet of protection, which isn't all that notable, and two quest points. While you can generally travel to any unlocked and grown spirit tree from any spirit tree, know that the gnome stronghold tree is sick. So while you can travel to it, you won't be able to travel from it until you finish the grand tree quest. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next quest.